How do we stack our astro images? Are you using Deep Sky Stacker, free and simple? Or did you move on to APP and Pixinsight because you thought that DSS is just not enough? Let's answer the question which one is suitable for you, the pros and cons of the most popular stacking options. And while researching for this video, I found something which I did not expect. My name is Tim and this is Astro Edit. In this video, we will compare the following features of the software. Cost, on a scale from free to Pixinsight. Simplicity, how easy the software is to use for beginners. Quality, with a direct comparison of the stacked images. And adaptability, how good the program can handle difficult stacking tasks. DSS is very popular for beginners and used extensively throughout the entire community. Why is this small piece of software a foundation of this hobby? It's free. The overlay is structured for easy access. A big preview window to admire your work, file list on the bottom and all necessary features in a small list on the left. Top to bottom workflow oriented, the options menu contains only the most important settings to adapt to your needs. The help file contains everything you need to learn the process and some insights into the maths behind astrophotography. And if you get stuck, a simple search on YouTube will reveal countless tutorials to guide you. Simplicity, very solid. I award a 10 out of 10. DSS will stack your light frames into a master integration frame. But that's about it. You can maybe set some settings for outlayer rejection, but nothing more. You can drizzle, but with no settings. You can set a slight cosmetic correction, but without a preview of the effects. Comparing this to APP and Pixinsight, where you can have all of the settings and have a preview of what's going on, DSS falls behind. If you detect strong gradients or a hard to correct color balancing, DSS can do very little and you have to deal with that in post. And that's where other pieces of software can step in and save the day. Adaptability 3 out of 10. APP is a program I enjoy a lot and I stack all of my images with it. But that will of course not bias the pros and cons. As for this day, APP costs 150 euros. Definitely an obstacle for beginners. That's why I'd recommend to learn the stacking process in DSS and move on to APP if you are sure that you want to continue deep sky imaging. But why should you move on at that point? The structure is similar to DSS, but the overall look and interface and loads of buttons can be quite daunting at the start. Big preview window, file list at the bottom. All the settings for stacking are on the left ordered from loading the files to integration. If you are new to the software, you will definitely need to watch some tutorials. There is a tooltip for every button you can use, but sometimes it's like reading a book rather than a tip on what settings you should use. Great to use after one or two tutorials. 7 out of 10. Now it's getting interesting. APP gives you the full control over the entire process. Key features are full manual calibration, distortion correction and local normalization. While stacking, even difficult problems can be addressed. Gradients can be corrected in each frame before stacking and background neutralization can be performed as well. But the most important features come after stacking. The tools tab contains very powerful processes. The light pollution removal tool works like black magic and the color calibration also gives you options to fine tune it. Plus, automatic stretching saved my work many times since I'm really bad at doing so in Photoshop. These three features are in my opinion the best reason to use APP. And you can stitch mosaics like it's nothing. Adaptability 9 out of 10. Remember that APP can't do the editing for you. You still need a program like Photoshop or Pixinsight to finalize the image. Speaking of which, now we move to the most advanced piece of astronomy software of probably all time. Pixinsight was made with one purpose in mind giving you everything you need to stack your astro images in every way possible. It's focused on a non-destructive and scientific workflow. And that's exactly where many people bump into the wall. Remember our scale from free to Pixinsight? Yeah, guess where Pixinsight is on that scale. Right now it costs 230 euros. That's more than some pieces of equipment. But is this price worth it? Yes, the interface looks clear and simple. But once you want to start and extend the process menu, you will be overwhelmed by complicated technical terms, way too many settings you can choose from, and a processing procedure that takes weeks to learn. They have a script just for stacking, 
but what's that good for if they tell you that you should do it manual anyways? I had to watch a lot of tutorial videos and even bought a book on the entire thing to get even a simple routine running. Simplicity of Pixinsight, 1 out of 10. Now that we are over that, Pixinsight really has everything you need and even more. Once you learned how to use the tools, you can stack and edit the image in every way you want and there's always a way to get over difficult tasks. You can do mosaics, comets, deep sky objects with drizzling and just like an APP, the tools after you finished stacking work wonders. You can't wish for more. Adaptability, 10 out of 10. You just can't miss it when you tried it for the first time. Now you know the ups and downs of each piece of software, but let's look at the actual stacked images. These are the stacked images from Pixinsight DSS and APP. This one is Pixinsight. Let's zoom in, it looks quite good. The noise is clean and the detail is there. Now let's compare to APP. These images are registered. Let's take a look. It doesn't look that much different, maybe a bit brighter, but nothing special. It looks almost the same. And now let's load DSS. From the overall perspective, this one looks hella close to Pix inside an APP. Let's zoom in, maybe take a look at the noise. It's maybe a bit more reddish. And if we compare the stars, the stars in Pixinsight are much sharper, I'd say much sharper than in DSS, let's take a look. But the noise in DSS is also better and APP is closer to Pixinsight. Let's zoom in right here. The noise in DSS looks great, but the stars are not sharp. The noise in Pixinsight is much worse, but the stars are much better. But the overall result, DSS is an amazing stacking software with great quality. That's the thing I did not expect. The stacking quality of DSS almost perfectly matches APP and Pixinsight. I was very surprised that a free piece of software can deliver such great images, but in the end stacking is all just math. It's nothing about the price. Or is it? Now which one is the software you want to use? DSS is entry level, beginner. But the quality of the final product makes it a valid choice even for popular astrophotographers, like Trevor Jones for example. He has made a lot of amazing images with DSS and and everyone else can as well. Problem starts as soon as you are confronted with difficult tasks. I'm speaking out of my own experience here. I am terribly bad with Photoshop. Correcting gradients, color calibration and stretching are just not possible with DSS. And if you don't know how to correct them in post, you will have a very rough time. If you know Photoshop from the inside out, DSS is the software you can rely on. APP can handle all of that. It will give you the perfect stacked image and it's super easy to continue the process in your editing software. So if you're not up to the difficult tasks that DSS leaves you behind with, APP is just perfect for you. If you have used DSS to its full extent and you are sure that you want to continue deep sky imaging, APP has got you covered. If I say that, who needs Pixinsight? This video is still mostly about stacking. If you are a person that wants full control and tweak every last setting to perfection, get Pixinsight. My routine is stacking the image in APP because it's so simple and the result is great and then I move on to editing with Pixinsight. The price of 230 euros is for a package that allows you to do everything you want in the best way possible, no doubt. Many people say that this price is way too high and then they go buy a $3000 refractor. If you want the best image possible, with full control over stacking and editing with tools that neither APP or DSS have, Pixinsight does not seem that expensive. I'd love to discuss this topic even more with you, so definitely take a look at the comments if you want a second opinion. Fall is here, the weather is bad. I try to get by improving my equipment and editing skills. I will probably make more videos about processing during this time, so hit me up with some ideas. Thank you so much for watching, if you want more of these videos, subscribe to this channel and as for me, my name is Tim, I'm an astro addict, I wish you clear skies, may the night be with us.